Hey guys, how's it going? I'm back here with another video and today I decided to make a tutorial teaching you guys how to basically upload images in your Node.js application in your API and basically you will be able to upload those images to your file system. So I've made videos teaching how to upload your images to a, a cloud service like um, like Cloudinary. However, in many projects it isn't necessary, especially because um, if you, if it's just a side project, then definitely it wouldn't be it wouldn't it would be overkill to store it in the cloud. So my recommendation would be to actually store it in your file system. When I say file system, I just mean store it in a folder inside of your project where where you can easily access the images. So you can see right here, the only thing I have in my application is a very 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 simple um, API using Express, right? And what I did is I installed Express. I installed EJS, so it doesn't matter if you've ever worked with um, with templates before. The only thing I did here is I installed EJS. It's totally not necessary. It's just so that I could have a, a very simple uh, HTML file where I could upload and access the backend variables easily, right? So if you're using HTML, it doesn't matter. It, it is all the same. It won't change based on this. So the idea here is, if you ignore this, is I just have a very simple get route to a, a route called slash upload. Uh, and currently, the only thing it does is it renders this file right here called upload.ejs or upload.html, it doesn't matter. But basically, this is what it's doing. And you can see that this file is this right here. It just It's a very simple HTML file saying upload image. And then I also have a post request which is a post request to upload the image we currently doesn't we're not doing anything inside of it it's currently just sending um the message image uploaded but obviously we haven't uploaded anything and at the bottom we're just um, say app.listen and we're console logging like the, the 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 name of the port right so this is a very very simple um express uh, api right very simple we have here our html file you can see i did nothing inside of it i don't even want to you guys to be confused so i'll even delete like all the kind of stuff over here i just want to leave it so that you guys can see that we only have a buddy tag and we have this h1 tag saying upload image so what do we do now well first of all we have to install certain packages so obviously currently with this express api i've, I've installed my how can I say? We've installed uh, Express as one of the packages. We also installed. Um, let me see. No, actually, it was all, yeah. We installed EJS, but that's not totally necessary. So the thing that we actually need to install is the Molter package. So I'm gonna say yarn add Molter. But if you're using npm, you can say npm install Molter. The same thing. And Molter, I've already installed it. But Molter is a very very famous library which allows you to easily manage files being uploaded from your front end, no matter if it is, a, for example, a React front end, if it is an, an HTML and JS front end, no matter what, you you can easily manipulate those files and you can necessarily uh, create them and upload them to your file system like I mentioned before. So after installing Molter, we can now start working with our project. So we have to create a folder where it's going to st uh, store all the images. Let me call this images. You can call it whatever you want, but this is the folder where all the images will be installed. And most importantly, we, ne we now need to come over here and start working with the Molter package. So the idea is that with Molter, you have to create um, three things specifically, always. One of them, yeah, because Molter will be, will be served as a middleware. And what do I mean as a middle, middleware? Is basically, at the, in this app.post, we're gonna pass the middleware for Molter over here. And before we actually reach the logic behind the post, it has it will already have uploaded the image. It will be guaranteed that it will upload the image uh, when you call the app.post um, HTTP request, right? So what we can do here is start building our middleware. So initially, we just need to require Molter. So const Molter equals to require Molter. And the package, as you can see, it will work. But then what we have to do is we need to manage our storage. And this is the part where it gets a bit confusing for a lot of people. But basically, what happens is and I'll just create the variable storage here before I explain to you guys. Um, storage. The idea is that let me just ignore that for a second. The idea is that the middleware will be something called like upload. And it will contain um, the motor object and inside of it, it will contain two things. One of them actually in this case it will only contain one thing. 
called storage. And this is exact like this is an object containing all the information related to the storage. Uh, so basically, in this storage object right here that we're going to create, we have to say we have to determine a bunch of stuff. For example, we have to determine determine where we're going to store the images, which in this case is in this folder. But we also need to determine like the name of the file, we have to handle duplicate files, that kind of stuff, right. So the idea is that in the storage object is where all of the specifications of our file is determined. And with the molter middleware, we can just say this literally just created the middleware, but we obviously need to create our storage object before it. So the storage object will be very simple. You can say molter dot this storage to say that we're gonna manage our like everything will be related to our memory, our disk. And then we got to pass an object inside of it containing some information. And to, in this library specifically, you can see that there's already pre built information that you can pass, for example, destination. And destination is basically, you can pass a, f a callback function over here. And this callback function will basically determine where in our file system we want to store this. And this is th the syntax for this is very standard, you can pass a rag, for example, and a and a file. And if you want to use those two variables, but most importantly, you need to pass the callback function. And this callback function will be used to determine what where we want to store the Im those images. And the first argument is any errors that might occur, we don't want to, we don't want any errors to occur. So like we, we don't care that much if, if any errors occur sending the image to any destination. So we can just pass null over here. Well, the second argument is the actual destination and that we care. So you can see that uh, the index.js file over here, which is where I'm running this is on the same level as the images folder that I want to upload. If it wasn't, you would have to account for this over here. For example, if it was one level, one level lower, they would have to do something like two dots slash images. But since they are in the same level, we just need to say images like this. And it will know that images is the name of the folder that we want to store the images, right? Then we have to determine the file name. And why is the file name actually important? Well, because imagine like this, imagine we have if we don't don't determine I actually forgot to put a, a comma here. If we don't determine the a specific file name that is different for every single file, then it will initially store images into this folder determined on the name of their original file. But people in like all around the world might have the same files with the same names, right? Like different files with the same names. So we actually need to specify like some way to to differentiate the files. And a good way of doing this, and it is kind of like the standard is basically adding the date, like the specific date and time in which the person uploaded the image to the file name, like before the like the, the date and the file name. So that's the idea, right? And you'll combine both of them. And the idea is that that will be kind of like a way to differentiate them. So similar to what we did, we pass a rack a file and a callback. And inside of here, we can for now, if we want, we can console log the file just to see um, the file name, we can see the information about the file. Remember, file is a variable containing the actual file. So you can do whatever you want with that. But uh, initially, what we want to do is we want to pass a callback here. And the callback, again, the error, we don't want to handle any errors for now, we'll just pass no, but now this is the actual file name. So what do we want the file name to be? Well, as I mentioned before, we want the date first, and then we want the original file name. So for example, if the file is called um, this cool image, imagine we have an image with a name this cool image, and I upload it right now, it would have the, the, the name would be replaced by the current date and sec like time and seconds and whatever, um, plus this cool image, the, the original name, right? So to do this, we can just say date dot now, which is a JavaScript function. And we can add plus to say that we want to add the original file name. And then we're going to use um, an original module in Node.js called path. So you don't need to install anything, it already comes with with Node.js. Um, we're going to say Oh, I forgot to put an equal sign. Um, by the way, guys, I, I know this is like, I completely forgot. But if you celebrate Christmas, today's the Christmas Eve. So happy Christmas. Um, I'm recording this video because while my family um, is enjoying Christmas. Um, but, but yeah, let me come over here and say path dot ext name, which basically means we want to extend and grab the name of our file dot original name. So this over here represents the original name of the file. And we're using the path module to access that. 
So this is the idea. This will be the 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 replaced name, right? And this is actually the the, the only things that we want to like determine for now in our storage. If you want to add more stuff, you can explore. There's like thousands of things you can do. It's really cool. But these are the only essential ones. And you have here the upload variable, the upload middleware, which now has the storage object contained inside of it, determining where we want to store the image and also what is the name of the file that we want to store. And now with this, what we can do is we can go to where we're actually uploading the image, which is in the app.post and behind like before the direct rest. So in between the route name and the callback function for this route, we can pass upload and which is the middleware and we can determine which kind of upload we want to make. For example, single is for single files. But there's like, I, like, let me see, there's multi, right? There's arrays, there's like 1000 different types. Um, but we're only going to use single, which means we're only going to upload one file. And over here, we have to pass a very specific name, which is where a lot of people get confused. This name over here is the name of the input where you grab the file. And you'll see exactly what I mean by that. But let's let's imagine that when we create our input in our upload.ejs, we're going to pass a name property to that input called image. So we have to get those two together to be actually like the same, right? So now that we have this, we can now start working with our uh, form. So let's come over here to our upload.egs. And in this form, it will be very simple. We'll just come over here and we'll create a form tag. So form and the form will contain some stuff. For example, it will contain a method. A method will be post and we will contain also some action. The action will be just to reference which um, like which post request we're making, we're going to make the slash upload route as we saw here, it is the slash upload. And then finally, we also need to put this really important property called ank type. And this ank time must be multi part form data, you have to put this or else it won't work because we need to say that we we accept this kind of form this kind of data coming into our form. And then we have to pass the input which is going to take that images, right? So let's come over here and say type file. And here's where that can, the, the, the name of the file comes, right? So we need to pass the name property here and pass image. So this over here has to be the same as this over here. And now that we did this, we need to pass in another input, which is the submit. So type submit. And that's basically it, right? I, I, I guess this, this, this should work. Um, you can see that the images folder has nothing inside of it. But now what it does is when we go into our into over here, and let me run this, I'm going to run yarn start, I'm going to run my server. Um, it crashed. Why did it crash? Let me see. Um, Events.js, um, because there's already it's already in use, I already have another apparently I already have another server running. Let me close this. And let me go to the other one. But apparently, I already had another another terminal running. Let me run it again. And you can see that now the server is running. Um, the idea is that when we come over here and we refresh this, now you'll see we have the, the form appearing here. When we submit this form, it's going to go to the uh, app.post slash upload. It's going to go through the upload middleware that we created and upload the image that contains uh, the file that contains the name image which is what, what will be determined in the form. And then it's going to go through this callback function and say something like image uploaded. So let's check to see if this works. Let me select a file here. And I'm in my YouTube thumbnails file, uh, folder. Let me choose my TypeScript file and my TypeScript video thumbnail. And let me click on submit. When I click submit, you can see image uploaded, but that's that's actually not guaranteed. We say image uploaded even if it doesn't work. But you can see that the console log for the image is over here, the original file name, all the kind of stuff, we console log this over here. And we can see that it worked. But now here's the moment of truth. If the image inside of it is inside of this folder, it means it's worked. So let's click on this. And you can see that the image is over here. And you can see the file name is um, like this, it is a bunch of strings of like a bunch of uh, numbers. And that is because we changed the name of the file, it was originally TypeScript. And now it isn't. And this is the actual thumbnail I used this for a video. But yeah, this is the idea, right? You can upload how many images you want, I can come over here, I can like I'll refresh this, I'll choose another file. Let me choose GraphQL react and submit. 
and now let's come over here you can see another image appeared and yeah that's the idea you're storing everything in the file system and if you're using a, an online server um, as long as you don't have like thousands and thousands of images that's totally fine uh, you have some space in your file system so storing those kind of images for a small project is not a big deal so yeah I really hope you guys enjoyed this video if you have any questions please leave a comment down below because I mean I answer every single question it's been a bit hard this past like two or three days because of the holiday season i also have some i have an interview for for a company so i'm studying a lot for that and yeah that but but i'll continue answering every single comment i have a discord if you want to check it out i help people there as well and yeah i really hope you guys enjoyed it and i see you guys next time